Hi, I'm Chef David Wolfman, and today I'm gonna to use some fresh Ontario carrots and squash and make a hearty soup that hits the spot this time of year. Here I have some beautiful Ontario carrots, some butternut squash, an onion, some garlic. I also have some hazelnuts, some sunflower oil. I'm gonna spice it up with a bunch of spices, some sage, and some fresh mint. Now carrots are available all year round, but fall is a great time to enjoy fresh carrots grown in Ontario. In the first part of this recipe, I'm gonna give these carrots some love by seasoning and roasting them. I've already diced everything up. I have one medium squash, which is about four cups. I have two carrots and they're peeled and diced, and that makes about a cup and a half, and I have a good size onion, which is one cup. So now I'll combine the carrots with the onions and the squash. Next, I'll crush up some garlic. Three cloves should do. For some additional flavor, I'm adding some chili flakes and some salt, some pepper, and then some ground cloves. I'm gonna use some sunflower oil to keep the vegetables from drying out in the oven. I like to use parchment paper on my baking sheet. It keeps the vegetables from sticking on the pan. My oven is already hot. I set it at 375 Fahrenheit. These will roast for about 30 minutes. So you want to mix it up so they get nice and brown evenly. Now if you cut them really small, they're going to brown too quick. If you cut them too large, it might take an extra 15 or 20 minutes. So let's get them back in the oven. Another five more minutes. Now this is a great time to toast the hazelnuts. I'm just going to do them in a dry pan, keeping them moving. Oh, does that ever smell fantastic? Now for the second part of this recipe, I'm going to make the soup. In goes the vegetable stock. These species of culinary herbs are originally from the Mediterranean, but did you know that various indigenous peoples of Canada traditionally used wild varieties from Canada for both food and medicine? The sage goes into the pot along with half the mint, maple syrup, another great indigenous ingredient, and the red wine vinegar. And now that it's boiling, I'll lower the heat to a simmer, let it cook for about 15 minutes. Now there are lots of varieties of vegetable stocks. You can get what I call a light color vegetable stock or a dark one. The difference is that they roast the vegetables to get that beautiful dark color. That's what I'm using today. Now I could have simply used raw carrots and squash and onions in the soup, but by roasting them first, they release more intense flavor, which is what I want to taste in the soup when it's finished. A quick blend with my hand blender will make the soup nice and smooth. And a little taste. And now's the time to adjust with a little bit of salt and pepper if needed, but I don't think it needs it, it's just fine. But I'll let it simmer for a few more minutes to bring it back up to heat, and then it'll be all done. The soup is ready for serving. To finish off this beautiful carrot soup, I've added a spoon of sour cream, some toasted hazelnuts, and some mint. This recipe is available by visiting Ontario Produce Marketing Association's website and looking for produce made simple.